Hi, my name is Mark. Today I'd like to give you an overview of GitLab Service Desk. We'll cover the basics, how you can use Service Desk, how you can work together with your development team, and how it integrates into other parts of GitLab. We'll talk about workflows using scoped labels, ideas for adding automation using GitLab Triage, and using GitLab Duo Chat to help boost the productivity of your support agents. So, what is GitLab Service Desk? Service Desk is a lightweight customer support solution that seamlessly integrates with the GitLab ecosystem and helps bring customers, support agents, and engineers closer together. If your team already uses GitLab, they know everything to use Service Desk efficiently today. If your team is new to the platform, onboarding is straightforward. Copy the project-specific Service Desk email address from the list view and use it right away to send support inquiries or configure your custom email address. Go to the General Settings page and expand the Service Desk section. There you will see a bunch of useful settings related to Service Desk and the custom email configuration. Set up email forwarding from your custom email address to the project-specific Service Desk address and provide your SMTP credentials. Then you're ready to share your support email address with your customers. Now I'd like to show you a sample workflow that demonstrates most of the features of Service Desk. Of course, you can adapt it to your organization's needs, leave out parts, or configure it completely differently. There's a new Service Desk ticket in our list view, and we're going to take a look at it. Now, you'll probably notice several things. First, Service Desk tickets are confidential by default. So only project members with at least the reporter role can access them. Even if you make them publicly available on your instance, we'll obfuscate email participants' addresses. You can use all baked and issue functionality on service desk tickets, like assignees, epics, labels, milestones, iterations, wait, due date, like thinking of SLAs, health status, and time tracking. For example, if you bill your customer support hourly. Link tickets to all kinds of related work items like issues, incidents, and even merge requests that the team is working on. We'll see this later in action. We already have a few labels assigned and a comment from a bot user. Here we use a Ruby gem called GitLab Triage in a scheduled CI CD pipeline to perform triage and automation tasks, like managing labels and adding internal comments based on conditions. It added a bunch of scope workflow and categorization labels. Let's take a look at the internal comment. Internal comments are never exposed to email participants. So you can have internal conversations and let bots add additional information and context to a ticket. Here we have a simple categorization rule that looks for certain words and adds a category label and an internal comment. Imagine these comments to provide helpful resources and workflow recommendations for your support agents. Let's reach out to the team and ask whether this is something they want to fix. I'll also use an internal comment because I don't want the customer to see this conversation. After that, I'm going ahead and write a first response to the customer so they know we are investigating the issue. I'll use one of my comment templates that also directly adds the required workflow labels. Later, engineering replied to our ticket and provided some context. Great, they will work on it and they even created a related issue in their issue tracker. And look, they already started working on this in a merge request. So send a follow-up to our customer to let them know we are about to fix this and we will reach out once it's been completed. Great, we got news that the fix has been released. So say thank you and write a closing message to the customer. We can use quick actions to close the issue and adjust the workflow labels. Additionally, we configured our automation pipeline to send a survey after the ticket has been closed. Our work here is done now. This is how a discussion looks like for the email participant. You can customize these emails using markdown and placeholders. See the documentation for a full list of variables. In a different scenario, we have a ticket with quite a few comments about an issue and a team member is asking us to take over because they are out of office. Let's assign the ticket to ourselves and let our colleague know we are covering for them. To speed things up, we are using GitLab Duo, which is part of our ultimate offering, to summarize the comments for us. For prosperity, let's add the summary to the ticket. Imagine we pressed some buttons in our internal tooling and now the issue has been resolved. Let's use GitLab Duo Chat to draft a message to the customer. GitLab Duo Chat is aware of the context of the issue. 
We'll take that draft, insert the name and close this issue for now. If you're using a support tool for a product, you want insight into how your team is performing and whether action is needed. GitLab provides analytics for Service Desk using the Value Stream dashboard, issue analytics and custom reports. See the time to first response and when an issue was resolved, or view issue statistics for each agent and filter by labels. You can even configure custom reports with the Insights feature. Configure graphs in a YAML file. In this example, we are showing issues by category and how many surveys have been sent. Add organizations and contacts to our built-in CRM system and share notes about the customer with your team. GitLab will connect tickets from contacts automatically so you always have this information handy. So why should you give it a try? Service Desk provides an easy way to set up a help desk for your team or customers right within GitLab. Use your custom email address and email templates to maintain brand identity. Use the same platform your development team already knows. Use internal comments, comment templates, issue boards, labels, milestones, and time tracking to build a workflow that works for your team. We don't force you to use any special workflow. Add automation to your service desk using GitLab triage and add information from other third-party systems using webhooks and the GitLab API. So whether you need an internal help desk or external customer support, consider streamlining your process with GitLab service desk. If you have any questions or feature requests, please reach out to us using the GitLab issue tracker. You can also follow our progress in the service desk playlist. So thanks a lot for your time. Take care and see you soon.